हॅलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चिन्मय देशपांडे इन दिस व्हिडिओ लेक्चर वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम न्युमरिकल इंटिग्रेशन हिअर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सिम्सन थ्री बाय एट रूल फॉर न्युमरिकल इंटिग्रेशन फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम सो लेट सी द इक्वेशन इज इंटिग्रेशन झिरो टू फाय बाय टू ई रेस टू साइन थिटा डी थिटा सॉलिड बाय सिम्सन थ्री बाय एट रूल विथ एट इक्वल इंटरवल्स Now I will write it as first function i will be equal to integration zero to pi by two e raised to sine theta d theta. Means if you see here, what is the value of y? Y will be equal to e raised to sine theta y, or you can say it as the theta also. So e raised to sine theta. Now it is expected to have eight equal intervals. So n will be equal to eight, which is given here. Now let me write it as x zero, which is equal to lower limit, will be zero, and x n, which is equal to upper limit, which will be equal to pi by two. Now please remember, while solving this numerical, keep your calci, keep your calculator in radian mode. Anyway, whenever you will solve numerical of uh, NMCP, then you have to keep your calculator in a radian mode. so let me write it as here i will say first i will find it out h which is equal to step size so how to find it out xn minus x0 divided by n what is upper limit x10 pi by 2 minus 0 divided by what is n here if you see n is nothing but 8 so you will get h will be equal to pi by 16 now let me prepare a table here with increment or with interval of h so here you will write it as value of x and here your function will be equal to e raised to sin theta now here you can write x or you can write it here theta also and here we have to vary the value of theta so let me first draw a table now how to vary a theta and how to calculate these values let's see first we will start from 0 degree we will start from 0 degree because your lower limit is from 0 degree now keep your calculator in radian mode so e raised to sin theta how to write it as shift and press ln you will get e raised to and after that sin of in bracket i am going to put it as a a okay so you will get this function or equation now press c a l c and put here which is first value equal to 0 so you will get answer as 1 so let me write this answer as a 1 next value is nothing but now this will be your x0 how to find it out x1 it will be equal to x0 plus h means 0 plus pi by 16 so you will get here as a pi by 16 so what to do here again press c a l c then shift and this you will get pi divided by 16 and press equal to you will get 1.214 1.21542 so let me write it as 1.21542 so as this is x0 this will be your y0 this is x1 this will be your x1 now next is to find it out x2 so how to find it out x2 pi by 16 plus pi by 16 is 2 pi by 16 which will be equal to pi by 8 so now if you substitute here pi by 8 here you will get answer as 1.46621 then pi by 8 plus pi by 16 now this will be your x2 here you will get it as a y2 now pi by 8 plus pi by 16 you will get here as 3 pi by 16. So answer for this, if you substitute uh, after pressing C A L C, if you substitute there 3 pi by 16, you will get 1.7429. So this will be your x3. This will be your y3. Next value will be 3 pi by 16 plus pi by 16 is 4 pi by 16, which is equal to pi by 4. So here you will get answer as 2.0. 2801 this will be your x4 this will be your y4 if you see next element 
pi by 4 plus pi by 16, you will get it as 5 pi by 16. So this will be your x5. So answer of y, that is e raised to sin theta, e raised to sin 5 pi by 16 will be 2.29669. After that, now I will put it here, next value is nothing but 3 pi by 8. So when you put here value of 3 pi by 8, then what you will get here, let me write it as y equal to e raised to sin theta. So 3 pi by 8, you will get it as 2.5190. Okay. After that, uh, 3 pi by 8 plus pi by 16, we will get it as 7 pi by 16. So answer here will be 2.6665. And after that, 7 pi by 16 plus pi by 16, you will get pi by 2. So when you put pi by 2, you will get answer as 2.71. 8 to 8. So, this will be, if you see, this will be your x5, so this is your y5. Okay, then this will be your x6, so this will be your y6. This will be your x7, so this will be a y7. And x8, you will get it as a y8. If you remember, we have how many intervals? Equal intervals, 8 equal intervals. So, therefore, we got this answer. Now, let me write the formula of Simpson's 3 by 8. So we will write it here as formula of Simpson's 3 by 8 rule. So what is the formula here? It will be integration x0 to xn f of x dx will be equal to 3h upon 8 into bracket first value of y and last value of y that is y0 plus y8 plus 2 into sum of multiple of a 3 in a y ordinate. So it will be what? y3 plus y6 plus 3 into sum of non-multiple of a 3 in a y ordinate. That is y1 plus y2, y3 will not be there, plus y4 plus y5, y6 has been covered, plus y7. So if you substitute all the values, we know what is h, we know what is y0, y8, y3, y6, y1, y2, y4, y5 and y7. If you substitute, then you will get answer as 2.94975. So this will be the answer of integration 0 to pi by 2, e raised to sin theta d theta. So this will be your final answer. You just substitute all the values of y from above table to the formula, you will get this answer. So this is what is your Simpson's 3 by 8 rule for a numerical integration. Here we have seen a stepwise solution of this problem. Thank you for watching this video.